Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Stalker 2. While launching the game, you got an error and Unreal process has crashed UE4 Stalker 2. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, if you have installed any third party antivirus, make sure you completely uninstall it from your system. And then you need to open your Windows security. Now Windows security, click on virus and threat protection. Now here click on the option manage settings, scroll down and click on the option add or remove exclusion. Now you need to add a exclusion of the stalker 2 folder. Click on the option add an exclusion and choose the option folder. Now you need to open the directory of the game. At my end, I have installed the game onto the Xbox. So I'll go ahead and open the Xbox directory into my system. In Xbox game, stalker 2 folder and select content. Click on the option select folder. Once it is selected, go ahead and relaunch the game to fix out the issue of an unreal process has crashed. If this failed to work out, in next method, head over to settings menu, click on the option system, scroll down and click on the option power and battery. Again, over here you will find the option of power mode. From a drop down list, choose the option as best performance, restart your PC and relaunch the game to fix out the issue of an unreal process has crashed with Stoker 2. If this method also failed to work out, let's proceed with the third step. In third step, I have a list of modes. You can download it right from this Nexus mode website. First of all, you need to log in and then you need to download this default version. Make sure you do not download any other version and download only a default version. Once you download this particular file, you need to unzip the folder and then paste the file inside the folder right in the directory of the game. In the directory of the game, you will find a folder with the name modes. You need to paste the file right in the modes folder and then relaunch the game to fix out the issue. If this also failed, in next step, you need to update your BIOS. And to update, there are two different ways. Right in the settings menu, click on the option Windows Update. Scroll down and click on the option Advanced Options. And here, click on Optional Updates. Now, under the Driver Update, you need to expand it. And if any kind of firmware update is available, select it and choose the option Download and Install. However, if it is not available right over here, you need to open your motherboard manufacturer website and then download the BIOS update driver file right from your motherboard manufacturer and then install it in your PC to update the BIOS. After updating the BIOS, again, if you have an Intel CPU with 13 or 14 generation, you need to download Intel Extreme Utility Tool. So open up your browser again and here is the link for the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Scroll down and you need to download it into your PC. Download it and install it into your system. Once it is installed, launch the tool and from here, you need to lower your core ratio of CPU. Whatever the core ratio you have set, you need to reduce at least by one on each core. Suppose if you have set to eight cores, you need to reduce it to seven core. And make sure you reduce by one on each core and after doing so, relaunch your game and this will completely fix out the issue of an unreal process has crashed with Stoker 2. However, if nothing fails, the last hope you have is to disable the overlays of Steam, Nvidia or Discord. In case of Steam, open the Steam control panel. In the left pane, click on the option General tab and here you will find the option of in-game overlay. Make sure you toggle it off. In case of Discord, launch the Discord, open the settings menu and from the left pane, click on the option Game Overlay and toggle off the option Enable In-Game Overlay. In case of Steam, launch the Steam and click on the Steam icon and choose option Settings. Again, in this left pane, click on the option In-Game and over here, you will find the option of Steam Overlays. Go ahead and toggle it off. Once you've done so, close it. And if you're using AMD GPU, you need to launch the control panel of AMD by right clicking and choose option AMD Software Adeline Edition. Once open, you need to click on the gaming performance. Under the gaming performance, you will find the option of global settings. Under global settings, you will find the option of shader cache. Make sure it must be chosen as AMD optimized. Once you done so, restart your PC and relaunch the game 
and this will completely fix out the issue of Toker 2 and Unreal process has crashed. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.